Well, that's because you haven't played Overwatch 1 to death like Ronin. Well, at least me. I'm just like... I, I wish I could take 700 hours off of Overwatch 1. <laughs> at least 700. <laughs> I hate, I hate the one taint. I hate Orissa. I hate Orissa. I don't want to play again. I don't want to play that game because when someone brings out Orissa, it's like, shoot, okay, bring out Zarya. I don't want to deal with this nonsense. Oh, but that's so annoying. I just want to play Reaper. Or like, I want to play... What's her name? Joker Queen. But it's like, all right, freaking uh, no fun allowed. I'm gonna go get Zarya, I guess. It was pretty okay. She was pretty fun. It's nice that I can bubble myself twice. But you have more options dealing with like two shields. Instead of just Zarya or Symmetra to take out Orisa. Reinhardt can just go in, technically. He does have a lot of shield. As long as he's got a healer. As long as he has a healer, he has a lot of health and armor. He's not as tanky as Orisa, but yeah, he can go in. And he can stop his charge whenever he wants, so if he messes up, just cancel and, like, back up. Uh, but Orisa's so annoying! <laughs> I don't want to play the game just because Orisa is there. Did you know her javelin? I will, I'm just saying. Her javelin is like a doomfist punch, because if it pins you to the wall, you get stunned. So I was like, why? <laughs> why is the stun too? And I don't even want to play open queue because yesterday when we did that, they just picked like four tanks and I'm like, well, this is no fun <laughs> fighting four tanks. We somehow managed to win because we just did like, what, three tanks, a Reaper and a Moira. That was like, yeah, we'll flex, but it's like, I don't really feel good about it. I would rather just go with mystery heroes or quick quick play is fine too i think because of the new changes i'm a little bit more okay with quick play because before it was like well no it wasn't, it wasn't because of like the team composition it was because no one wanted to freaking like if they picked a tank they weren't gonna play as a tank they were gonna freaking yuck off somewhere like they're a genji player Yeah. Started this dank stream for Red Den, and here I am talking about Overwatch. Uh... Oh, yeah, and Solver is annoying too now. Her damage is... I don't know why, because I feel like she kills really quickly. Yeah, she feel, it feels like she kills really fast. Forty percent damage bonus? That, that explains a lot. I was like, what is this hack doing to me? I don't... He's a punk. <laughs> she is a punk. He's a little punk. 
I hate her. <laughs> I, I love playing as her. I hate playing against her. That's, I guess that's how it is. And her ultimate is still a pain, man. Well, I guess the ultimate's like, at least you can like... Oh no, because she's invisible forever. How do I play this game again? How do I run? I don't want to accidentally shoot someone. That was a jump button, alright. There we go, X. I want to play a game of blackjack. I'm a pretty good professional at this thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, I will. Place your bet. Hey. Uh, what do I got? I'm gonna look at my cards. Part two. Uh, hit me. What is that? Stan. I'm Stan with that? Bust sucker. to do hit me what what did you what did you ask Ron um I don't remember double down baby Dude, I thought double down meant that I get to split the thing and then put two cards on. I'm leaving with my... God dang. Lost my money. No, no, no. Oh, not double down. What's that called? A split? No. Something... I saw it on errors and I was like... Is he put two cards separate and he had like two like two hits on both? I'm like, what the heck is that? I don't play poker. I mean blackjack. Incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents and my Behind you ah Baptiste. Oh, is that the Baptiste line that you're talking about? Problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing oh. nomads. Uh, tell me, sir. I just like how Baptiste <laughs> screams like behind you. Ah! Not like he's actually a <laughs> raised in an orphanage. That's my favorite died. line. Unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Oh, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, uh, pure. Uh, uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. <laughs> remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So it's such a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, what? Come in, sir. Would you like 
Three? You think that's what is that? You love it? It's your favorite? Or skin a rabbit. I know. Oh yeah. Cannot see the star. Yeah, that one's really good. My heart is and it only keeps going off. <laughs> it only keeps going off. It's so good. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can yep. tell you what you want to see. Yep. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding. Both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. The robot man? He's so cool. I love his all the all the animations for everyone are so good in that game. Where's Dutch Vanderlyn Well, they've always been kind of good. Like they've always had like weird, funky, unique animations that like matches each and everyone's weirdo personalities. Marvelous. It's simply marvelous. They kind of went like out of town. They, they went to town on these. Hello, sir. A scientist, a criminal, and a savage. <laughs> what a strange trinity we make. Come, let's hurry. Stay close. Here. Uh, so, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlind. You gotta kill Yeah, too? it's it's Get amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. People out here. There's only one part where I'm like, all right, <laughs> of course. But even at that point, I'm like, that's fine. You you get one freebie. No, I'll give you like ten freebies. How good everything else has been. I don't know. I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit, surfing great waves of euphoria. Ah. Anyway, yes. it's so, it took you so long to get to that in Great East Attorney, but it's so good. <laughs> I couldn't stop. Are they shooting us or are they shooting the box? It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Master. I should be paying attention to Red Dead right now. What a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth reputed by Darwin. Wow. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Well, people were stupid back then. These trees are quite foreboding. It hasn't changed. Uh, are you sure this is the right way? Slow it up, man. It's this way, mister. Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Master. <laughs> Enjoy it while you still can. That's... I explore with the mind is basically everyone who like at home and COVID who are looking at pictures of other places. I'll tell you though, if I went out at night in the middle of a forest, I'd be freaking out. Paranoia, anxiety, whatever is gonna make me like think there are like boogeymen in the like the, the shadows. Is that a bear? Was there a bear? Uh oh, is that gonna hit me? No, okay, we're good. Is on here? He better not be. Because if he is, I have to go and fight that bear with a knife. Alright, good. There's another bear right there, too. Oh, right. Run, run, run. Earlier today, there was a, a red emergency that I have to, like, I have to play this game. I didn't even know it existed. I just saw, like, a YouTube app for it. I'm like, oh, snap. I gotta play this game. Is it? Is it? I saw an ad for a Cobra Kai video game. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for I saw it, it looked More of a head It looks eyes. jank. Yeah, we gotta start watching the second season and I gotta start yeah, playing sure that game. There's a second one coming out. <laughs> There's a second one <laughs> coming out in the fall. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. I can I can't believe it. <laughs> no, not free. It's like twenty bucks for the first one, so it's probably like twenty bucks for the second one. It looks like a, a, a cruddy indie game. Well not that cruddy. It looks like a it's a beat em up. And I had to, I, when, the point where I'm like, I need to, I need to get this is when I saw freaking Daniel doing like 
he punched the ground and an ice spike came up in front of him like a god dang power geyser. <laughs> so I was like, oh snap, we got superpowers? I gotta, I gotta see it. Or I gotta play it. Apparently they, they do the story of Cobra Kai too in like comic book style. Which is also pretty cool. Uh oh, I better jump and grab the ledge. There you go. Damn. Damn. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. I'm also gonna probably just start playing Monster Hunter without Zima. Can I jump this? Oh, I can do this. I'm probably gonna have to start playing Monster Hunter without Zima. She's at this rate, we're gonna keep playing Monopoly or Uno or something, and I'm like, I'm never gonna play Monster Hunter. And they just dropped another title update. Or Wheel of Fortune, or EDF, which I don't mind EDF, or Overwatch. I want to play EDF. But I also want to play. But I also want to play Red Dead. I am not playing FF14. You know what's crazy is though, how long, how many, how many hours do you have in FF14, Sing? There's a cave over here. Might go through or up the mountain. You're still less than my time in Monster Hunter World, which is ridiculous. Even after all that, you still have less time than me in Monster Hunter World. But then again, I did spend like, I when that game came out, I was like unemployed. <laughs> So I had all the time in the world to just play that game. That's what I expect would happen to me, is I get to like 10,000 hours of Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, I know. But 15 was a one-time $60 purchase. Except when the Royal Edition came out, then it became a second-time purchase with an updated DLC bulk run. Yeah, I don't wanna. This way. I'll just get Final Fantasy VI. I'd rather I'd rather stick to single player games. Or, you know, like smaller not I don't want MMOs. <laughs> what the fudge is that? Is that a person? <laughs> what is that? Is that a zombie? <laughs> did he bite you? He did. What the crud? I thought this is only in the undead nightmare. Wait. Is that a zombie? Explosion. Oh, shh. Sh freaking ran into a pole. Run, John. Am I good? Am I okay? I think I'm okay. John's okay. We're good. We're good. He took that explosion like a champ. What's going on? I got a high power pistol. What are you gonna do against this? I have technology. John? Why did I get so much money? I wasted 50 bucks of it on blackjack earlier. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Is he going to die from that arm? Don't me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. Am I just, wait, am I just going to freaking find Dutch out here? It feels like it'd be way too early to find Dutch. Oh, shh. Is it dead? 
I think it's dead. All right. I didn't check audio, did I? Mm. Check audio now, I guess. Oh yeah, I still have my uh bowl of Maggie picture <laughs> there. die with my knife. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Why do you keep asking about stranger missions? No, I haven't gotten any in a while. You so, well, I mean, I have to keep like looking around. <laughs> they ask me to do like dumb bull crud. Hey, look. Like, hey, go get me 10 stage. 10. What the fudge is the, what the heck is attacking me? You little punk! Get... It was bait. He put out bait for me, and I took it like a Don't sucker. Good luck. Can I climb the cliffs from here? I cannot. <gasps> Oof! I like how he crawls up in a ball, like most normal people should when they're falling down. <laughs> They're freaking savage. Where is this building mountain lion? There it is. Die! Get every shot in John! It's not even a mountain lion, it's just a cougar. Unless that is the mountain lion. Oh, what were you eating? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be using this meat and crud for. <clears throat> oh, 
gosh, is Dutch really all the way up here? Wow, I shot that bird so hard it just vanished from existence. Just like words Dutch, I want to see him. Oh, stealth. John, your aim is so crud with the throwing knife. Well, then again, he's no trained ninja. She has an entire little army? Wow, look, there he is. He shot me in the binox? He's no pushover. <laughs> That's a pretty good shot. Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Nastas. I like, see you guys are having fun playing Overwatch. Rescue. Like it was, you know, you like down. remember that episode of Fairly Odd Parents? An escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Ron's in the queue. No, I'm saying it's like that one episode of Fairly Odd Parents where you know Timmy was in the uh, elevator and then they were like, "When are we gonna get to the ride?" And they were like, "This is the ride." <laughs> the elevator. I mean, the escalator. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yeah, like he was basically <laughs> the game. Many disasters before this was all our land, and now we have brought you civilization. I'm sure it hasn't been easy, but I was, it hasn't was one been my easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in game whose father once shot eighteen natives in one afternoon out of grew on me, just like the one for Danny Phantom. Quite, quite Although they weren't like, he took to yeah, the they both grew on me. Although I'm, they're never like. They were good. I liked them a lot, but I'm like, they're not like, they ain't gonna top Tom and Jerry and Courage the Cowardly, you know, like old, old cartoons. You are simple minded, sir. Spongebob was good, but I feel like Spongebob was running a lot longer than those two shows. Or like ran before those shows a lot longer. Hello, what's going on with you? Really? I'm pretty sure Spongebob came out first. Seven AM and ten PM. Might as well go to this G. Seven AM and ten PM working hours, eh? You gotta be kidding me. I hate all these subscriptions, man. I just <laughs> hate them so much. I heard it was done. Why can't I get on this horse? Buddy, let me get on. Why? Why don't let me get on the horse? There we go. I don't think Sink will like that drone race. Oh my god, I gotta come back between god dang 7 a.m. and the freaking. I have to go out here and hoof it in the wild. Hey, 
Hey, look, Ron, you, like you said, it's the most important thing. Ow. There's a the front door. Strangers. Excuse me, miss. Something wrong? Does it look like something's wrong? Yes. Well, you look kind of upset about something. Perhaps you don't understand what it's like to be disgraced as a woman. Yeah. Bad people gossip about you and turn from you in disgust day after day. People can be real. Well, she's not that crazy, you know? For sure. She just has some problems. I used to be a nanny for a family near Blackwater. The father, he was always so charming. My fool that I was, he fell for him. <laughs> Mrs. Thornton, his wife, kicked me out on the street as soon as I started showing. Mr. Thornton turned to drink. Not even a farewell for a dollar. So I have nothing. That's weird, but all right. They will surely take my baby from me. Perhaps you could find a dissolute bastard. Get even a few dollars from me and my baby to find a home. I would be so grateful, sir. This one's the easiest one so far. She's just asking for money. I got you. I'll be right back. Even though I have the money with me right now. Find Harold in Blackwater and get money for. Oh, you want me to actually? Oh, that sounds way more. Beat the crowd out of this guy. Whoa, horse! Where are you? There you are. Talk about how there's like pretty good games coming up. Well, for me, anyways. <coughs> you know, Ron doesn't care about Sonic Frontiers or Star Ocean, so I'm. <laughs> it's uh, looking good for me. November. Call it duty. Duty. Um, I think the Actman said it was the Actman or someone said it was like a gem covered in diarrhea. to see him horse with. <laughs> Why you ask, friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? Uh, Kakarot? <laughs> uh, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, Nate Johns is a fine, <laughs> fine man and an evil. What did you just governor. buy the game in 2023 then? To call him my friend. <laughs> oh. Wise man. Okay, well that's pretty good. He's eight. I just got it on the PC. I should finish that. It was really good. Come on. I don't even know what I did. 
good for that guy. And you never finished it. I kept telling you, hey, when you're gonna go back to that, by the way, and you're like, eh, I'm not going back. Uh, maybe, I don't wanna. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Master. An informer just told us to make Man, I watched you play through, like, all of Witcher. <laughs> it was. I had a pretty good moment. You went to the cyberpunk world. Um... Yeah, she hung out as uh, what's her name for like. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot. Never mind. Apparently, she just did random job or something for a while. But I'm like, I don't know how Siri thought that was like a cool world when it was like constant violence and bad things happening all the time. That door is the only way in and out of the building. So cover it tight. You see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. I beat cover outlaws on you. Yeah, Cyberpunk is a pretty big game. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. You really think you're better oh. than the bathroom skills and DLCs and stuff. My aim. My aim. Get the man at the window. Wait, any fun? Oh, my aim. There we go. Hey, what's up, Jake? How's it going? Oh, they're in the building. Oh, they're in the window. Person? Oh shoot. My aim though. Good thing they run in a straight line. Got some making a break for it. Get there. Where? Where? It might be clutch. Let's see what this is all about now. Oh, is he on the roof? Am I crazy? Oh, there he is. Oh, that guy didn't die. <laughs> Marston, head into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. Take them. He's running in there. They'll cover the windows from up top. This guy's run fast. Shoot the lock off that door. Lock. What in the hell? Keep the doors open. Holy shit. Now. We need to get in there. Oh. Let's go. Watch out, Ross. Hold on. Give me one second there. Oh, that's sick. The, gla the, gl bleh, the glass breaking? That's a person. Wait. Hold up, I got this. I got this shot. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, that's a person. Never mind. Oh, 
Dutch already have gotten here from like... Good work. Well, Dutching I guess I made it down for mountain, so it would make sense if Dutch is down for mountain. Who cards shouting like a freaking weirdo? Goals. Even though most of like the lead team, lead of the development team left. Oh, it's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Oh, it's it's Overwatch making the game. You've been chasing me. Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? What do you do with that? Don't Dutch? adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been I could dead eye your face right die. now. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch, by making compromises we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know. Gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you Yeesh. know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Oh, dang. I don't see him. I don't what see the him. In there? This is your fault, Marston. You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Get on your horses. I just saw that <laughs> Oh, wait. I don't got time for this. I got to make a daring, a daring chase. All right, what's going on here? Alfie? Who's outside? One second. Oh, and thanks for the follow, Jake. You gonna calm down, Alfie? You still smell like a dentist's office. I'll have to get Alfie another bath. She's ever since her dental, she smells like you know when you walk into a dentist's office and you smell all their like, like I don't know how better it's like the stuff they use to clean your mouth has like this very distinct smell. That's basically what Alfie's feeling like right now. Come on, come on. It just smells like teeth cleaning, not like toothpaste, but like whatever they use, teeth cleaning hey, stuff. We saw and from some men. and you didn't shoot him? Let's just say Dutch ain't gone and got himself safe. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. I'm surprised how Dutch had managed to escape <laughs> so well. So that's the great Dutch? What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Who's talking on your heart I want to shoot that guy. reminds me of you. Violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? Now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option, 
Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. This guy's annoying. <laughs> He's just annoying. Who the hell are you fellas anyway? Lawmen or army? No answer. There's the car. They must abandon it and continue on foot. Got war horse. I'm gonna freaking slow behind you guys. by now long and like you keep kicking them out and making them go through the queue again. <laughs> kicking them out, making them go through the queue again. That's a good punishment. Three bullets of the Winchester. Four bullets of the Winchester. This guy's got armor on. Dutch Marston. He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him. Don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <laughs> uh. I hope that guy dies. Can't believe we're taking off Red Dead in one day. Hello. I'm sorry, pal. Excuse me, my fault entirely. 
I have no idea. Some bastard outlaw just robbed me. Please, can you stop him? Nope. I got a stranger mission complete. You know a girl named Clara? I said. Is she one of the waitresses around here? No, she was a servant at your house. The only servant we had was that wee darky girl, Sarah. And she left to join our people up north. <sighs> no. She helped raise your children. You and her had a intimacy of sorts. Look here, laddie. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of. I'm just here to enjoy the tables. Not to hear aspersions against my character. Aspersion. I understand you want to keep this quiet. Just give me a few dollars so she can set up a modest household for her and the child. You put in your mind, laddie, or you're just a common criminal, a nerve, are you? <laughs> you think you can blackmail me or insult me over this piffle? You, outside, no. I gotta beat him up, huh? Does he not notice I have, like, guns and stuff on my back? Duel? He wants to get shot in the face? Guess he wants to get shot in the face. Got 200 bucks on him. Holy cow. The man was loaded. Return to Clara with the money. I'll take my time. I could run with this guy. Marston, sir. It's good to see you, Wolby. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul. What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use it, but you won't such as worse, but, 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 but lesser. Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god. You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir. I shall. Mark my words. I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the knobs at Yale. Come, sir. I have a way to say both our desires. I will bring you, Vandalint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type. Come, sir. This guy's a freaking weirdo. He's a main quest. <laughs> Where the devil is the stars? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down. I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Yeah. Come on. A lot of people are liking that Overwatch game. I mean, Gundam. <laughs> yes. research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastos has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastos, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm 
Chris, I have to say, <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Especially you, Nastas. You really have made remarkable progress in the short time I've known you. I'm glad you have found it useful. I've always been a little afraid of Sam. Come here! Shoot it! Shoot it! Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Come on! Thank heavens! Now let's get out of here! We can't stop now! Hold on! Hold on! I need to skin this bear! Last still. Please tell me they have stopped and are waiting for me right now for this animation to play out. They have, nice. Hurry! I'm going to miss the meeting! This is Duchess, man. Aren't they gonna start shooting me once they see um <laughs> John? Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! Well... You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weapon. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Oh, Nastas! Professor, get down now! Why the dog? They killed Nastas! Austin, you have to get us out of here! Stay down and keep quiet! Nastas, I'm sorry. I will loot your body and remember you with this 9 pistol ammo. I'll never use these gun bullets. Man, that sucks. I like Nastas. He was chill. Who off his horse? I can't see any more of them. Come on, Professor. Let's get you back to Blackwater. I'd appreciate it if you would, Mr. Marston. I'm a shadow of my former self. 
A shadow of his former self. <laughs> Experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Oh, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind, restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping there? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. Come on. I got this guy taking me. Whoa, safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some boiling. Rest, I don't know why when I heard bo him say boiling, my mind just immediately went to boil peanuts. They'll sound good right about now. The prodigal son returns to Yale. Professor. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. Not, not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my thing, sir? Oh, yes. You're gonna die from all that. Arms already like red and inflated and crud. You okay, professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Is that you, Dutch? <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Dutch, how are you getting Maybe in and so out of here? Dutch. Like, you so casually. And your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their family. Well, that that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm gonna hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're gonna run across the roof. <laughs> I like that first option better. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> what the fudge is this? Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? Working with her weird googling and woogling. What are you doing? Come on. We can get to the roof this way. Oh, 
I was like, why is it coming back down? Do something! He's going to kill me! Stay back! Where the teacher gets it! I'm back. Whoa, he's sliding out of here. What's this? Stop that! I'm on a dead eye. A Over here, I had to squint just to see these guys. It's 720p. Nice jump. Come on. Come on. Let's get the hell out of Blackwater. Where'd Dutch go? Right to the station. I'm not staying in this place a minute longer. This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong. At least you got some good material for your next book. <laughs> you know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West. The romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. Yeah. It always was, Professor. Yeah, it kind of was. The Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. <laughs> it's like, me, he's like, he, I wanted to come out to the Old West and document its final days. It's like the romance, nobility, and all that. And he's like, but it's just people killing each other. It's like, yeah, that's pretty much all it was. Please. <laughs> That's pretty much the, what the Old West movie was. No! Here they come again, Let me get that high power pistol. I don't call him Google. Like they're probably easy for I use with my pistol. Come on. Man, McDougal's horse is really fast. to the station yet? Oh, we are at the station. He's just booking it. He's like, all right, I'm out. Ah, my research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they'd want it better. Well, Goodbye, Mr. Marston. <laughs> He's crying on my shoulder. Yeah, whatever happened to my poncho? I forgot I was wearing that. So long, Professor. It vanished sometime in the middle of the... So long, when I was in it? Mexico. Missed that poncho. Oh. 
Okay, that was worrying. Loading time. Sounds like you two are having tons of fun in Overwatch. Let's go. Time to help you. I gotta go find some land to camp in. time that looks better let's go What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. Dutch is still not there yet, but... This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage hall and sword tripe, will you? Oh boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. Can't disagree with him. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. By breaking and while the rules. rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? <laughs> See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, 
is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Yeah. I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> He's like, but when we do it, it's fine. Yeah. As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? <laughs> now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? Don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Shall we? All right, let's get out of here. You upgraded cars? This one got a little roof on it. Oh, it's got a gun. It's also got a machine gun on the back. Never seen such a machine. They told me about these. The army's been building them in secret. Oh my god, what kind of army is that? This killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. I don't know about that. Outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vanderlyn's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. I'm just going to skip. Oh wow, I was already there. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. Get fit! Load weapons and get to the sandbags! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Fingers on the triggers, boys. What are we waiting for? Come with me. Targets on the horizon. Fire at will. Everyone having a fun time? Take them early! You'll pay for this! <laughs> Come on now! Move out! Don't let them get away! 
Oh. The same vehicle. Good idea. I was actually gonna get off and <laughs> I was gonna try to get off and run after them. <laughs> he can't handle it. <laughs> I think blew up really fast. What is that? Oh god! Got a rocket launcher? Man, Dutch is freaking prepared. Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his students. That man is insane. So it seems. We're the one who brought a freaking machine gun into his... Him <laughs> into him. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, men. Let's move out. Come on. I can't believe Vandalin has built himself a fortress in the mountains. He's crazy, but he certainly ain't stupid. You've already seen that place, right? McDougal told me you went up there with that Indian chap. I've seen it all right. We'll be lucky to last five minutes with this many men. Governor Johns is going to be very pleased. Nate Johns? What's he got to do with any of this? Let's just say he has a vested interest in cleaning the filth out of this region. I don't think our old friend Dutch realizes what a great favor he has done us, exciting all this hate among the natives. Like you needed an excuse. See, this is what happens when you fraternize the savages. How could you ever follow a man like that? How could you ever follow a man like Ross? Vanderlind is a psychopath, a murderer, and a rapist. Ross don't seem too different. Dutch was a good man once. A far better man than you. So what made him this way? I don't know. Bastards like you. Seeing that things never change. He kind of just went crazy. Ross, 
At least from Red Dead 2. Anything to get you sons of bitches off my back. Dutch. There's always somebody watching. Like the Mr. reason Martin. he went crazy is just like, yeah, he just kind of went crazy. Now. You think you're so clever, don't you? No, it's you who thought you were clever. You thought you could just walk away from your own life. Make no mistake, we have been watching. Don't speak to me. You're really an ungrateful slug, Marston. It's been a while since I saw any snow. Instead of punishing you for your crimes, we are giving you a chance to kill the men who betrayed you. You didn't have to punish my wife, too. Oh, please. She's hardly innocent. Don't you talk about her like that. Oh, I would never talk ill of dear Abby. Do you call her Abby or Abigail? I prefer Abby. No, I like the woman. A little rough for my taste, but very pleasant. I can't <laughs> wait to put a bullet in your head. When will this be over? It's you who's been dragging it out, not us. We sent you to Fort Mercer with the simple task of killing Bill Williamson. Next thing you know, you're running all over Mexico like a headless chicken. And now it's Dutch. But he's the last one of your merry band, is he not? Then you can go back to your farm, or what's left of it. If need be, you can always send your wife back out to work. I hear she works hard. Go to hell! This old gang of yours just won't die easily, will it? I wonder how many deaths you are all responsible for. How much What's happening right now is just me following these we did more for the people cruddy the people to <laughs> go. Government ever did. Man. Good God! This flawed philosophy yours again. If you wish to argue the finer points of ethics, <laughs> I suggest you learn to read first. And I suggest you learn how to shoot people in the So what, he can tell me to go fight a bear with my knife? About these obviously evil government officials? These obviously bad people. <laughs> it's like, yeah, John ain't no, ain't no, like, he's no good guy either, but. I don't like, <laughs> it's pretty obvious they're like, yeah, we're, we, they're like, yeah, we're good. We're doing everything for good reasons, and it's like, wow. Those are usually the bad people. Like Dutch. Can you just fast travel there? You just ride shotgun with someone? Well, in fact, I don't have to follow you guys. I can just run right ahead of you. Come on. Well, why am I following? the one who's gonna kill him? Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. Come I could have just got ahead of these guys and made them fast travel over here. You, blow that gate open. Move, soldier. I bet no one's gonna be there. Go! Get down! It's just a dynamite. It can't be that big. That was pretty big, but it wasn't that big. Move 
Running a little low on pistol ammo. Need cover. Let's go, man. I need, I need more pistol. <laughs> you guys have no pistol ammo. Is rifle ammo? I'm gonna start using my Winchester. Nice gathering on right here. There's a guy in the gathering gun. Hey, pistol ammo? Can I borrow this crit? Look, everyone here is just carrying rifle and repeater ammo. Right, Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I will provide the cover fire. This is it, man. Let's get that gate down. Get ready to hold off their fire, Marston. Up top! Cover them! Put your guns down and run back to your family! Son of a bitch! We lost one! Keep up the fire! Come on! You tend to your wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. I gotta face Dutch alone? Why? Looks like it's me and you, John. You should have stayed at home. At least this freaking Gatling gun, they decided to put armor behind it. Why would you put me in the freaking standing position, you dumb game? Get me in cover. Those torches were not there. <laughs> There's always a choice. You're just too blind to see. They got my family. There we 
go. Son of a bitch! God damn it! You'll never take me alive, John! Well, it's a good thing I can take you dead. I'm not to go left and not right. <laughs> John's screaming when he's, in, when he's covered in flames pretty funny. Oh, jeez. It's over, John. I ain't leaving here without you. Got a cave system back here? Oh man. What the crud is this? You're just like me, John. You can't change who you are. I ain't like you. you have your own like cave hideout over here. <laughs> the chest, can I open that? Nope. Can I make this my cave hideout? I know Red Dead was made after Red Dead 2 and all, and Arthur. What the fudge? <laughs> what was that? You just shoot me right before getting near the cliff? Well, like, it'd be nice if they just said something about Arthur. <laughs> Damn, John. Hello, Dutch. But, you know, it didn't exist technically until Red Dead 2. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. But when I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. I think he meant to say, John, that, well, maybe, uh... Our time has passed, John. <laughs> so at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot. The man's dead, Ross. He jumped off. Sure. Can I see your gun? The same gun you gave me. Wow, you're holding it weird. Oh, 
trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, I won't think joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. That's it? Huh. Cool. Let's go! I'm gonna go home to see my family. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. DMCA music? Someone remind me to freaking turn the audio back on once <laughs> music's over. Do you really want me to go through a Guardians of the Galaxy? I'll do it with the DMCA music on, but I won't upload it to YouTube. I'm just really bored of it, man. It's just like, it's got nothing that'll like... I don't, I don't know. I guess in between maybe like, once this is done, I'll play. It's a short game, right? It's only like eight hours or something. All right, all right. I got a free with my graphics card. I might as well. I did play with the music. Heck, no, I didn't. I don't care about that. Do I look like a streamer to you? I'm just freaking... I'll just turn off... I will won't put it on YouTube. And I'll turn off the VOD, and we're all good. boy wow is that it I can hang up my old cowboy hat. Jack. Sir. You don't clean up your goddamn mustache and beard.
Okay. Am I just gonna live a happy family life now? I thought that'd be like one more twist. Look at that new outfit, no guns. John's feeling like a new man now. <laughs> oh, shoot, wait, never mind with my gun. All my guns, actually. Oh, we got a dog? And I can't pet it. Oh, look at how big it is. Warhorse, thanks for accompanying me on this journey. There's got to be something else, right? The game wouldn't keep making me play if it was just like, ah, happy ending, you're all good. Maybe this is how John goes insane too, like Dutch. And then he goes out. He's like, I, I, I'm a killer. He wants to go out and like be a cowboy forever. And then you'd be good. <laughs> like you, you mean? Hey, you aren't gonna you aren't gonna say anything about that? Where is he? There he is. Aww, what did I hear about? You're the one who running into me! Learn to ride your horse, man! Why are you keep running into me? Run, <laughs> learn to ride your horse, man! <laughs> this kid. Please learn to ride your horse. Look at that coming outside as soon as we get here.
I'm gonna have to herd them dang cows all the way back to my ranch. I like how the kid kind of just like has like, it kind of looks like John. I'm taking all your dang cows. All oh, cows. I'm not going to miss Mr. Williamson. Oh, Bill's dead. Oh, crap. Rain again? The last time it rained, the herd freaking three of those cows ran off a cliff. Why are we going through the river? You didn't save? You didn't save your custom game mode from Overwatch 1? I feel like not much changed for that though, so I mean, like, why wouldn't you? Well, you don't you dank cow. Look at I see you getting away from here. Get back there. Been a long time since I had to do this cow herding thing. Jeez, I bought like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. It's right at the top. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm counting them individually. I bought fifteen cows. That was cost a lot. That ain't gonna have a lot of money. I have almost a thousand bucks. I may as well be like walking around with a hundred thousand dollars. I don't participate either. Really? It became a, a very uh, entertaining moment, I guess. Rustler. Oh, for the love of... So much of my peaceful farm life. Bang, 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 bang. I'm a beast. I'm right next to him.
There's only one straggler, thank god I don't have to go <laughs> and stop them from running up a cliff. Just, you know, chill cow herding. I can't wait for Nintendo to not do what these leaks are saying. You know, Legend of Zelda remaster for Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. The Mario movie. I'm assuming it's just a Mario movie, but I'm saying like for future events. I'm assuming for like at least the next year we won't see Metroid Prime trilogy or the, the the Legend of Zelda thing. And when we do see it, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are going to be two separate games that are sixty bucks each. <laughs> Metroid Prime trilogy, more like Metroid Prime one, two, and three separately for sixty bucks. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting. It's going to be great. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard to deal with like attack characters in Overwatch 2 right now. So like, don't don't be don't be too hard on people for not going after these attack characters because there's a pain. We got two two options. What's J? Who's J? Okay, well I know what A is. <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> he's right there. And he's like, oh. Jack's right there, and he's like, oh. <laughs> he's like, oh god. What the fuck is this? Get the. Frack out of my silo! You dang crows! I only had a flash grenade right now. I got ammo. I'm gonna get further back. Get 
Get out of here. Eat my corn. <laughs> what did say stop? Alfie. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> what? Wow, okay. You did something to change your mind? And Arthur. I miss Arthur. It's a shame his game was not as good as yours, John. <laughs> Oh, 
feel like I wish I stopped just to see what they said. How's your match going in Overwatch? Talking smack about me while I'm right here. Big old bags of corn here. What the heck is she doing? Simple for John, like, dang, wish that was me. Oh. Come on. Only had two war horses pulling this. Yeah, I did for a second there, my bad. All right, dialogue done. Just making sure.
That's it. Me just the farm life. Guess I'ma just be living the farm life. What the crap do you mean they're not here? <laughs> oh, he's he's walking there. Look, look, he's getting there. He's getting there. When's the twist? When am I gonna go back into the outlaw world? Is John is <laughs> John's gonna become like punished John? <laughs> there we go. Man, can't you clean your goddamn beard? What's in there? Why is no one going to say anything about his dirty beard? More hurting? Oh no! This is it. This is what's going to drive John, John insane. He's the hurting. He's like, I had it way better when I was just going around shooting people. How far is this point? What is it? Do you know what it means when you it says like drive the herd out to pasture? What does that mean? Hey, get back in there, cow. You two are getting a little too far away. I really am gonna. Oh, if I was John, I'd also freaking think about going crazy. Uh oh, the herd. Oh, the herd. Hey, get back. Get back on track there. Oh, did the train freak him out? There we go. Get these. So I'd rather stay with a herd or kill the outlaws. What I was. Nah, I'm a family man now. Where am I going? What are you doing? <laughs> you just ran right into those cows. Try to keep them together here. Oh, 
Oh no, maybe that was my chance to become like Evil John is to go out there and kill the outlaws instead. All right, I have brought them to pasture. I don't know what that means. So I just leave them? Can I travel back? What is it going to be called? The Marston Ranch? I guess I can. I guess I'm going to ride my horse all the way back. over here I got the finest horse in all the land. It's like the beginning of the game all over again. Like, you remember that stuff? Yeah, it's been a while. Hey, what's up? Is this still morning? Well, it's afternoon for me. Or, I mean, noon. Thanks? That's, um, that's really nice of you to say. <laughs> it's like, wow, I just came out of nowhere. Friend, love, all right. Oh, shoot, horses, right. Get off my thing and then ride the horse. How did this work again? Okay. I 
I forgot how long this took. It takes really long. Anyways, I hope I hope you're having a good day. There we go. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, you got the horse. I don't know how the heck you managed to do that while I was freaking... How do I catch all these horses? You're a filthy liar because I would have seen it. Oh, come on! These dang horses. Look at that, I got that one. Oh Jesus, I'm gonna fall off. Oh he's not there and I can't even or they're not there and I can't even thank them for following. This takes forever. And if I was John right now, my behind would be in shambles. All right. How oh, many more horses do I need? Who the heck is that? There's some random guy in the middle of the field. All right, lasso's out. Beautiful. Here we go again. <laughs> How many more? Do I have to catch all these horses? Or... Please don't tell me that's the case. Let's make it three. Am I just going to sell these horses? Probably. All, all. Why is this one way more difficult than the other ones? There we go. That did every good. Thank God. All right. Nice. <laughs> I was kind of worried I'd tumble down that hill like an idiot. A war horse kept his footing. A hundred bucks from that? Nice. This pays better than that government job. Where's just, where's uh where's Jack? There he is. Hey Jack, what's up? What do you mean he's not right here? He's right there. Hold on, maybe I can like run away and come back. Let's try now. He's right there. Come on, game. Okay. He ran very far away. Now 
I'm running back. Look, there he is. Okay. I guess I'm going to go take a nap. Hopefully reloading the area fixes the issue. Is maybe he's out at night. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, there he is. Look at right there. Wait, Jack. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Okay, hold on, hold on. I kind of liked it better when the mission just started. Immediately, and you didn't have to wait for uh, people to get to their positions. Is it between the times of 5 a.m. and 6 p.m.? Oh, yeah, look, there's Jack. All right, let me just wait here and wait till he get, gets there and sits down. There we go. Now the game's not glitched out. Brave man hunts the man who killed his father. That's been off since I started the farm ranching bull crud. <laughs> I forgot to turn it back on. <laughs> How'd you like to learn to track elk? <laughs> I forgot to turn the sound back on. We could use the meat. All right, no, listen, this time it was different. I turned it off on purpose because the game had DMCA music. So I was just like, all right. I'll turn it off. Hopefully I don't forget to turn it back on. I absolutely forgot. I've been playing the last hour and a half without sound. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Where are you leaving your book on the ground? Oh, it's gone. Yeah. Should it just be working? Well, it's not that it's not that bad. It's just like me doing farm crud. It's not like much happened. And there are subtitles. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Is that is that dog gonna like getting sure us? You ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you. But I'm gonna try and make up for that. Oh, I'm following the dog. Dog knows it. Slow down! You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're alright? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Look, I picked up a scent. Come on. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. 
Were you actually locked up in a dungeon? Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Come on. Check this out. You got dead eye. You might you might run in the blood. You don't know. Bang. Come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. Gonna get away. That was great, Pop. You just gotta wait for the right shot. Not rushing. Woo! That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. All right. Let's see if we can find some more. Go on, Rufus. Let's go get him, Rufus. Shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch at it. I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Telling me to shoot them. Can you hear them? No. There he is. Stay calm. When you got this. Get after him. Let's go. Steady now. Come on, easy up now. That's it, son. Got him. Hey, watch it. Whoa, look up to that horse. <laughs> Knocked him out of the way. Oh, did this give him the same like, animation? Follow us. Let's go.
brought me along. Oh, it's right here. Thank God. All right, here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Hey, mister. What do you have? So, I'll commit. Rabbit's foot? I'm not buying it. This is selling. Elk meat. Elk meat. You're all set. I'll be back with more next time I pass through. Broken trees waiting for some kind of hope, Master. Let me know if you need any help. Morning, compadre. Hey, partner. So there's all there's you saw all of it? I hope you enjoy it. Smooth ride. That's all I got for you right now. Okay then. Bye. Okay. All done. Let's head home. Nice to see you. Where the heck did you go, Warhorse? Oh, he mounted them. <laughs> he mounted hits them. My terminology all mixed up. Come on. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple of days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. <laughs> but I did half the work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I sure hope so. Then you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. <laughs> old. Oh, shoot. Old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. You are old. <laughs> Day. <laughs> Come for your own kid like that. How old is John? Thought he was in his like. If he, if he's in if he's in his fifties, yeah, he's he's getting there. Wait, oh, I need to be on my horse. Come back here, war horse. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? Come on. Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Arm is going up like crazy. Come on. You're tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. Oh. I guess not. Don't show me, and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. Better I teach myself. Fair enough. Going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? A safer one too. Okay. Why are they really quiet right now? This is that scene where they're talking really quietly. Come on! The dog will soon sniff them out! What, what is Rufus? The freaking, like, all-knowing dog that just knows what to look for? I can shoot! You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? It's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. 
That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, and the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. Don't give up now. Let's keep moving. Come on. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I, I really am. It's just every time you go up, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. Let's go. Jack, he's found a scent. Follow me! Don't you mean follow Rufus? What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Died of what? Why do you want to know? Well, it just sounds like a good story, that's all. It really ain't. He died in a bar fight. At least, that's what they told me. Whoa, whoa. Paul, is Uncle really your uncle? No. At least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. Why'd he call him Uncle, then? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. <laughs> God must have had something <laughs> to keep him on this earth. He was old when I was a kid. Come on. <laughs> he was Look really out. old. Come on. Watch yourself now, son. It might turn on him. Check this out, kid. Oh. 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 Whoa! You can't be tired already. Come on, Rufus. Where are the others, boy? Yeah. There's a lot more um, happy farmer ranching gameplay than I thought there would be. It's always more fun killing something you don't like. Uh oh, let it slip. Go get him, boy. Come on, easy up now. Yeah. You can find him, Rufus. Well, I guess while I'm doing wolf hunting, I can ask talk about uh Well, I guess something interesting happened this morning. Well, I guess more accurate to say life-threatening. Uh, oh this morning when I was driving back from the airport after dropping my parents, the um, the brakes on the car stopped working. <laughs> so I was freaking out a little. Shoot! Oh. Freaking! Get, get away from my horse! My war horse! Me too. You three. Um, luckily it kind of fixed itself when I just I like pulled over turned it off and turned it back on oh no <laughs> I got this that's Rufus yeah I'm trying to get it back right now it looks like all of them Nice work, Jack. I thought we needed Come more. On. All right, we should head back now. I say nice work, but. Come on, Paul. How many did we kill? They won't be after our cattle for a while. That was some good shooting, son. You didn't kill a goddamn thing. Hold on there, cowboy. You ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Ah, uh, please, Paul. Of course. Were you a murderer? <laughs> that place where they held it. I shouted at a guard one time. Were you a murderer? 
Yeah. No. And I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. Cuz I ain't done. Sometimes it ain't pretty. Are you a murderer? <laughs> so yeah, I am. You know we could be outlaws you and me. <laughs> all we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. What are up with? I'm happy with my two arms if you don't mind. Just imagine it though. John and Jack Larson. Most wanted men in the West. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. Well, there you go. <laughs> Just, hey, you a murderer? It's quite the loaded question you asked them there. You turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. Max honor. I'm back after 3 p.m. today. It says come back after 3 p.m. today. All right, all right. I'll take a quick nap, it means. I wonder if this is an extra long, like, epilogue, man. This thing, <laughs> it's like, just like, hey, just like, uh, I guess like him talking with his family and getting that stuff off. Sorted. A lot of effort for an epilogue. Uh, sleep again. Is that still nighttime or? <laughs> I thought maybe it was like AM. It's also funny for the family just seeing John randomly running out of the house. Just drop the John, little light. John, what is it, old man? It's Jack, the kid. What? What do you do? Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. <laughs> He's like, oh no. Rufus, the amazing wonder dog who can track literally anything from 10 hundred miles away. Go on, find Jack, boy. And can pretty much understand human speech. Come 
At this point, I would have followed this dog as long as I followed the dog in Deadly Premonition. Come on, Rufus! Find Jack! Didn't it? Didn't it? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm gonna butcher that name. Oh, there's the bear, but where's Jack? Shoot. Jack, what happened to you? That's a big bear. Don't move! Keep your head down! Huh? Can't even skin it. What the hell were you Whoa, what happened to you? Break horses. Come on, let's get you home. What the heck happened? Did the bear hit you? Now hold tight. Are you all right? What are you doing? Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh. You're lucky to be alive. I don't think I can run myself, sir. What did I tell you about going off by yourself? You're not leaving me here, are you? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. Oh, please don't stop. I don't feel too good. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books. That I'm not a real man. Come on, Paul. I'll keep quiet, I promise. <laughs> he says as he gets on the back of the horses, I'm just complaining. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Blow it up now. Whoa, whoa. Where's Rufus? I guess I'm going to go in the opposite direction of the dot. What's your mother going to say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you. Hey, <laughs> freaking 180s back to this. I do I mean, anything for you. You know that. Yeah, 180. No. I guess there's only room for one hero. Yeah, 180. Family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. Let's go. Grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? 
Why are we stopping? Yeah, bad things. Things nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you had. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. Keep going, Pa. I want to get home. Okay. You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. Dang it, I can't hear the dialogue. I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. And he's wanting to get back to this. too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Now Abigail's gonna be like, what the fudge is this, John? The last enemy that shall be destroyed. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Uh, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. What's he doing? Would you stop leaving your lights you know, everywhere? It's gonna cause a fire. Some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. The day John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. What is that light? Was that a glitch? <laughs> so, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know, they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration. One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here. John, come here, quick. What is it now, Wolf? Take a look at that. Horses. Jack. Cows. Go the house, lock all the doors. Oh, Whatever no. happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Poachers? Okay. We got poachers. Here, son. Whatever happens. Keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! This is it, Uncle. Old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. For the love of God! Let's get that gun ready, old man. Get behind the wheelbarrow. They said get behind the wheelbarrow. <laughs> behind that on top of it. Come on, old man. I'm gonna need you to help me hold them off. Jesus. I'll bet you Who's attacking me? Hard to see. I have no idea what these people are. Get in there. There'll be more coming. Check on your family, boy. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, 
It ends here. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. The army. Oh, they can't. They are like, oh, why'd you even let me off the hook if you're gonna come back to kill me anyways? Uncle! Did you really need this many people just to get one guy, man? And his, like, his old hobo uncle, his son, and his wife. He's sending a military force. Then again, this is John Marston, so you Good uncle. Hang in there, uncle. I'm gonna get you out of here safe. Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <laughs> take them and <coughs> don't worry about me. Get them out of here. No, uncle, please. Oh my God, they killed him. Come on, son. Ain't nothing we can do for him now. Darn, Uncle. I'm sorry for talking smack about your beard. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there. We'll make a run for the barn. Stay close. You're shooting. Keep your eyes open. This ball coming down the hill. Oh, I see. I see him. Get behind something. I got the watch this. We're gonna end this together. Get behind the sandbag. All right, there we go. Horse, horse. Oh, whoa, that was weird. Killed him so fast the music didn't get to like amp up. We're good to go. What am I waiting for? Now, quick, run for it. I won't let anything happen to you. You're doing good, son. I'll drop the hundred fools like you. They ain't involved in this. All right, you're covered. Now go, go. A horse! I'm sorry! Wow, nice. I think I was over there shooting them with a pistol. place to hide you're coming with us paul i'll catch up you keep riding and don't look back and don't be worried about me you hear now get going you stay out of trouble john ain't no trouble abigail ain't no trouble i love you i love you too now go get <laughs> Well, 
He ain't, he ain't gonna make it out of this alive, is he? Whoops. Whoops. I messed up. I went out like a punk. Dang it, I didn't get to shoot. I messed up! Oh no, I pressed the wrong button! I should have at least killed you and the other punk! Should have killed the boulder hat guy at least. I went out like such an idiot. And they just oh the guy glitched around that guy's dead body. Dang. Well that sucks. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Well, I like how there's no music, no nothing. Okay, well, I spoke too soon. Hopefully I don't forget to mute it after this. Unmute it, I mean. I ain't taking the risk. This could be DMCA. Hair singing. You can hear this on the radio. He was, I can't add right now. My brain is 38, 36. I'm stupid. No, it's 38. He was 38. Oh snap, is that Jack? <laughs> Aww. Oh, how long did she go? Like 10 more years. No, not even 10 more years. Is that only three? And is that uncles? Hold up, I gotta like really uncle. Impossible to forget. No one even knew how old he was. Uh, what about this? I can't, it's hard to read that, man. All right, whatever. What am I doing? Is that it? You just continue your adventures as a... Uh, Jack? Hmm. 
Yeah, John John got owned by those stupid guys. I freaking I'm an idiot. I didn't they gave me the dead shot mode, but I accidentally pressed the I pressed the undead shot mode because I thought I, I that was the button to click on and it turned my dead shot off and I'm just sitting there pointing at them and I'm like, "Well, oops." And then they just shot me dead and I'm like, "Okay, yeah, at least I wish I took out like five of them." Anyways, is that it? My high power pistol. I got all the guns from uh, yeah. Well, I probably got to get further away before I can fast travel. Hold on. I wonder what I can do. Maybe I can go see the McFarlands. Is this just like, oh, you can go do your stranger side quest that you didn't do? Oh yeah, turn on the audio again, you know. I forgot. Oh, let's see. Maybe I can go to Blackwater and kill the guy. You need help? Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. He's a fine man if you want results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. Yeah. There are no missions, I just ran into a random stranger quest. What the heck is Edgar Ross? Whoa. Oh, son of a gun! Why is that a stranger quest? Whoa. Oh, freaking! I'm gonna go murder him! <laughs> I was like, why? I wasn't even thinking about it. Hold up. Where is he? The wrong demand woman. Can't can't read. Oh, that one seems like the one right there. South of Armadillo. Quest is called a uh, journal. Oh yeah, stranger. Okay, okay. Now I gotta go fast travel. What the heck is this horse, man? This ain't no war horse. <laughs> South of Armadillo. If I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna need to get the double barrel sawed off shotgun. Let me run into a store real quick and buy that. Do they have a gun shop around here? This is freaking armad. Yeah, this is armadillo. They should have a gun shop. There it is. 
I'm glad I'm playing this game and not Overwatch right now. Edgar Ross. Mister, you surely won't regret a purchase. I have to go to certain shops to buy certain things. Well, never mind then. I don't know what a volcanic pistol is, but it sounds funny. Let's use a freaking regular oh, pump action, double barreled pump action, pump action. Basically, this is like the end of Red Dead 2, where it's like, after Arthur dies, then John takes over and he kind of plays him. I'm doing side quests and crud. That sucks. I don't get it. What the heck were they doing? Why did they let him go back to his family and have the happy life for a little bit before just killing him? Maybe like a couple days or weeks, like a couple weeks at most before they came after him. And it's like, why didn't you just... Do him in sooner. Through, are you? Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Just fine. I wonder why this is a stranger quest. Is this where they are? North of Trubosa, okay. Come on. What was that screaming? <laughs>
I'm gonna fall in this thing when I get this. Oh, that's right. They put boulders in the way and crud. What if I do a good jump though? Can you see I'm busy? Out of the way. I got some revenge to get on this rainy night. Okay, <laughs> he's got a filthy temper. Where the? Can you mark my map? Oh, he went further. Okay. Starling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> wow, I'm being really polite about this. And you, boy, have sure as shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. You really think you're in any position? I ain't even? going nowhere, old man. We're gonna do this old draw style? Oh, I got a shotgun. I don't think there's a shotgun on him. What do you mean skip the tutorial? I would have absolutely had to have done a, a draw before this. Bang, 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 bang. With the volcanic pistol. That's pretty good. <laughs> the title card coming in. I'm surprised I didn't put that as like um, a required quest at the end. 
I just thought, hey, let me go to Blackwater and stir some trouble. And the random guy's like, here's a stranger mission. And I'm like, who the heck is Mike Ross? <laughs> Mike Ross, not Mike Ross. What the heck is Edgar Ross? Getting names mixed up all over my head right now. Whatever, I, I killed the bad guy. It's a shame I didn't get his freaking partner in the goddamn bowler hat. Shoot, more freaking DMCA. Look at that record time for my stream ending at 1 30. Yeah, I know I had to do the DLC, but I didn't want to take a break. Do I need to change the title or anything for Un Dead Nightmare or anything? Technically, I do. There is like a separate category for it. But basically, I'll just come back. I'll take a break. I don't know. I'll go eat some cereal. Take Alfie out and all that. And then, yeah, I'll just start the Undead Nightmare. Man, that was good. That was good in a way that I would say, like, most games have lost, lost, <laughs> like, it's like a simplicity that people, like, video games have lost. Unlike Red Dead 2, I didn't spend any of my... I spent, like, hardly any time shooting animals or crud. I didn't even walk into a shop or anything. Like, I just play the game. Which is nice. Because <laughs> in Red Dead 2, you have to spend a lot of time... Or at least I spent a lot of time with, like, go on this boat, go fishing, carve all these animals up, and watch a goddamn freaking elaborate animation every time there are some good moments though i guess well actually i remember like two good moments from red dead 2 but yeah Oops. Red Dead 2 did have Arthur, and Arthur is pretty sick. Well, like I said earlier, it's a shame that's it's a shame you're in that game, Arthur, not in this one. He was duck hunting, man. He was duck hunting, and I freaking shot him. Eight times. Don't remind me. Shut up. Don't remind me. Yeah, my my John Monster in my game went out <laughs> just pointing a gun and not even shooting. And it's not as cool as um what is that one movie I watched? El I don't know. The guy with the old man Gran Torino. It's not as cool as him because he was it was like intentional. This was me literally, whoops, I made a mistake. And then I'm just like looking down at my gun and looking at them like, hey, I'm not pointing my gun at you guys. I'm just, you know, getting a good look at it. And then they all shoot me. Like I'm trying to do some comedy routine and I messed up. Anywho, yeah, I'll be right back.
I turned off my camera too because that my light was like my eyes must be like feeling like I guess weak is the best word. It's just like when I, the light in my eyes is annoying me. So I just turn off the light. I'll turn off my camera. I don't think that's it. I feel fine. Six. Now let me sleep an extra hour. But yeah, uh, no, I'm fine. I don't feel tired. My eyes kind of feel like. This happens sometimes after streaming because I have this lamp on right in front of like in front of me so that I'm illuminated. Oh, turn on the stream audio. Alright, here we go. Oh. Hello. Oh. Spam call. Love in the time plague. After months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Anything. Almost. Mother. Oh, I'm Mother. Sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, Mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly, at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs going crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you off drinking in the fields. I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Nothing. What you doing? Well, that old man can take care of himself. No, I just don't want to. Wait, did I miss something funny? I heard the little the, the, the organ like. Either that or. I 
ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking, seems more the likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. What you reading? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> that should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is... There's this one guy, and he goes out searching. What's going on here? And not to leave him all alone. So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody. Which is... Absolutely disgusting. And completely unbelievable. <laughs> getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. <sighs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure, but he'll have to wait till morning just like any other man would in his shoes. Good night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. I'm not sure quite what's going on here. Oh, great. Hey, old man. You don't look so good. Um. What is going on? What the hell is wrong with you? Crazy old Get my gun. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Oh, I came back. Oh, oh, fine. Oh no. Uncle! You dumb son of a bitch! Stop! <laughs> you a fool? Stop that! What'd you do to her, you sick bastard? Uh -oh. Well, yeah. I can't believe I had to kill that poor bastard. I... Well, you okay, darling? You okay? Oh, Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Jack, get out here now! Oh, good Lord, what's happened, Mama? Careful, boy. Mama. Oh, oh fudge. Just stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me no widower now. The shame that uncle had to be shot. You've all gone crazy. <laughs> These two, I'll hog tie them though. Poor uncle.
What the? Now, I don't know what the hell's gotten into you sick, crazy bastards or what else was done to you, but I'm going to get help. Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack? Probably just a fever. <laughs> Abigail. Teach the boy right from wrong. Both of you. Stop biting chunks out of people. Be back as soon as I can. Ooh, dang, I can make an original outfit. Go find me a doctor in town. One second. Find help in Blackwater. From what I remember, that's freaking far from here. You ain't Warhorse. Beautiful. There's War Horse. Come on. Everything green. Everything's green and red. Go. So this is just like a, a fun, silly, goofy, like, DLC side story. I take damage from that. Things are rendering in. God. <laughs> All right. Something don't feel right here. Something don't feel right, John. <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? Well, well sir, I'm a man of science, a, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> Why <Wait> that, Dan? <laughs> what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure. Or fight to the death trying. Well, well, that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. No, no, no. Be, perhaps staying with you. <laughs> uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my bag. <laughs> wait, you should stay with me, Professor. 
You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. You remember him? Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but, but a good sort. Didn't he die? Okay. Well, maybe in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. The canon has been rewritten here. Hey, Nastas. Well, if you can see my camera right now, I'd be shrugging. That was the same, like, piano, like, that they used in Deadly Premonition. Not bad. Oh, snap! That seems like a live human being. Anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? In here, mister. Come out. It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. Bad joke. I mean, come out. They got my family, mister. And mine, I fear. Sorry. We were so glad to see my mom. Because she's been dead for three years from the smallpox. T Your mama was dead? And I saw her walk up onto the porch. And boom! She ate my daddy. You weren't. You weren't a bad man, mister. You weren't. Sure. He liked to drink, but, but he weren't bad. And sure, he liked the company of women. Uh huh, all right. No one deserves to have their blood drunk. I mean, he knew how to use his fist. And if, and if a woman spoke out her place, oh my god. And everything. And when my mama was dying, people said that he was lying with her sister, but that weren't true, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad sure sounds like a real upstart fellow. Mr. Braithwaite, he's been dead a year. And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. And he loves animals. All the dead folk have come back to life, mister. Only they ain't happy. It's a funny kind of salvation. All the dead folk? All the folk buried at the cemetery over by the churchyard. God. I'm gonna go have a look. You wanna come? I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Here, mister. Take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. Okay. Hey, mister! If you see my uncle Mordecai, burn him. Burn him real good, you hear? Like, probably the West Korean one. Are you? Okay, all right, whatever. Unless I'm really not like your Uncle Mordecai. God damn it! Hey! You're on fire! Leave me alone! Sorry about that. I forgot to burn this. I knew this was a waste of time.
<laughs> My horse okay? Get the piece of crud. Oh, nice. Let's go, Warhorse. We got business to take care of here. I don't know I could dodge roll. <laughs> I played through the entire game. <laughs> I just find out I could dodge roll. Sure, I can lock onto them, or I can just freaking book it. Oh, I actually got to kill everyone. Swung by balloons, my faith. into the graveyard. Okay. I don't get 
ammo first. Secure the town safety. One, two. I have to keep the frickin' town safe over time. You folks okay? Oh, just fantastic. I just saw my daughter get eaten by some creature sent straight from hell. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Oh my god, everyone's so Sorry, sarcastic man. today. Sorry, mister. Forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. What's going on? Well, it's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Just shut the goddamn border, or things like this happen. My daughter was just some satanic demon's lunch because of the goddamn government. <laughs> <laughs> Usually. I think we may be moving a little off topic here. I ain't a wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Thanks for the input, cowpoke. Fleshy monsters feasting on my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. What in the world did my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man. Oh, not now, Jorine. Not this again. <laughs> Your daddy was a, a bully and a drunk. Well, I like how the girls are keeping her ears shut because she's like. Listen. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscence. Is there anything I can do to help? You got any idea of how we can survive? Well, you could try shooting them creatures, you dumb fool. Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, <laughs> you're a man of great patience. <laughs> See? That feller ain't hiding away like a little girl who's wet herself. I thought we agreed we should stick together. <laughs> so we're just gonna stay up here till we either starve or have one of them, mister? Do I look? look like one of them. Well. well. Don't come no closer. We made that mistake before. Lost half our number. I ain't one of them, you fool. Well, how do I know? They can't speak. I ain't taking no chances. <laughs> Kill him. He's one of them. Yeah. No, I ain't. Don't take no chances, Silas. Have it your way, all right? Listen. I ain't coming no closer. 
You know what's going on? That's the same model on the left of the lady who got shot by Dutch. No, no, no. It's the snake oil man. These poor folks have been drugged. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been struck down. Right, we heard a lot of stories, mister. Some say it's a moon. Some say it's drugs. They don't come no closer now. Stand back. Apparently it's worse in New Austin. Must be where it came from. And it looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's a glass eye. I blame the Mexicans. Oh my God. Connie McTavish, you don't know nothing. You always was an ignorant shrew. I bet your husband's glad he's dead. <gasps> <laughs> At least my husband never took favors from the stargazers, Lucille Billingsgate. You say you're sorry, you hillbilly white trash. Yeah, yeah, now how are we gonna rebuild America like this? <laughs> now, see, I thought we had it all decided. We was gonna be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader, who happens to be me. Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America, and good luck. Wow. We never had that decided. We decided we would hold elections and that I would be leader. You can't even read. Well, I, I got gravity. I got gravity. Gravy. Gravy. <laughs> Don't respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Andrews. Me. Now pay him. Ah, I didn't even bother shooting. He just left her. What the fudge is this? Why is she moving like that? She's moving like a weirdo. Bolter undead, huh? Them's far. It's undead nightmare and undead nightmare. You better let me. Use. Oh no, no fast travel. Well, crud. That was closer. Blackwater isn't gonna survive, that's for sure. am I going right now? I probably should have just put a marker on it. Yeah, I gotta back up. Alright. I need water here. Uh, six shotgun ammo. That's pretty good.
I'm sure a lot of you guys are here. Oh my god, why are there so many? I'm out! Help! Survivors! You guys wanna help me out here? There's a lot of uh, zombies here. What's a legendary horse? What the crap are you talking about? I have no idea what the four horses of the apocalypse are, man. I just started this dang mission. Snap, I can get up there. Sucker, you dumb zombie can't climb the. Hey, what's up, man? You have quite the situation on your hand up here. This house. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, look, they didn't shoot through the window. Can they open doors? I think it's heck of open doors. Oh, that's just the music. <laughs> Please. 
What the? What the crud? Did I just help some headless lady? I just helped a headless lady! I can travel anywhere I want. This lady has no head! What the crud is needed? Let me check my map. Uh, New Austin. New Austin. I don't know where New Austin is. I can go anywhere on the map. Okay, but I gotta go to Armadillo first. What makes him so broken? But what do they do? What makes them so broken? Let me do this quest first. I gotta I gotta ride that way in a second, but let me do this quest here real quick. I have begun to earn the loyalty of my mount as now increased stamina. John, I completely forgot about you. What's going on? Oh, hey there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John? He's he's he's, he's a, a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. <laughs> uh, come here, boy. Come on. What? Come here, boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. <laughs> ain't nothing? I've seen husbands eating wives, mothers eating sons, graves popping open, and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo hoo. Big tough John Marson is scared a little undead creature walking around. <laughs> He's just chilling. Why is he so happy with those cards? Besides, this ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater are blaming it on that glass eye you found. Uh. Folks! 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 Damn them, folks, John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get them! Get him, Moses! Get him! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. Could it be the glass eye? I completely forgot he found that. Moses, get him. Go. That was kind of like a... Uh... Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now what the hell's going on? The dead have risen, and a virulent plague is... Turning people into flesh. Eat. I guess they don't care about Seth because Seth is already kind of like been around dead people for so long. He, the people why? just think he's dead. But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't natural. Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Who made you, John Marston? Same as made me. Same as made Moses. Is there a cure? These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got 
Good times to remember. <laughs> Happy times. Okay. See you soon then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There are three new Austin Grave and one of the side quests. it's in uh I think I'm gonna run into it and I have to do the side quest. Keys. What is that? A bunch of headless people? Why do these people have no heads? I'm going to. I wonder if that's another new problem going around. Headless people? Is that a new thing? My gain is whack. Come on. Come on. to go. Let's go. These horses better be flying, Ron. Most of the NPCs in my game have lost their heads. Most of the NPCs in my game have just lost, they don't have heads. Mythical creature has appeared in the area. What does that mean? Is this the horse you're talking about? Oh shoot, there it is. Piece of crud. Yeah. I'm riding it right now. But it's not doing that thing where I have to like tame it. Let's go. Is this horse mine now? It's red. What the crud do you mean? Is it's a red horse? It's got no. It's got. Let's go. It's got. It's kind of like on fire. 
What the fudge? What do I do with this horse? Don't let me, like, tame it. Come on. Why won't you let me ride you? I want this one, too. Let me have it. Oh, shoot! You ain't gonna... No, get back here! Well, horse! I can't have you. No one can. Son of a... Warhorse, hurry up! I don't think bullets affect it. My game glitch out? No! Oh! <laughs> Come on! Warhorse! We gotta catch that thing! Warhorse, no! <laughs> That's the name of my horse! Restart in your town for low checkpoint. Low checkpoint. No, we started the nearest town then. <laughs> Dang it, War! I drove you off the cliff! Pooh. to run all the way on. Okay. Now if I see a person, I'm gonna hope they're gonna have their head on their head. Their head on their head, yeah. Head on their shoulders. It was like around here. A little horse symbol there. Maybe I just can't tame the uh, mythical monsters yet. Do I need to like get further in the story before they tell me how to do it? I need to fight one first? Okay, as long as I don't need any prerequisites. Is that? Look at this skinny little horse. Oh, that thing's like an undead horse. No, that one's just an undead horse. It's got nothing on it.
bear. I guess this will be the last thing I do before turning the stream off. I'll get this horse. South Armadillo it is. I don't see a place called that underneath Armadillo. Yeah. Is this it? Venter's place? This is it. New Austin is a big area, I think. Is there like a map pulled up where you can show me? Oh, it's in Rio Bravo. I don't know who the heck is. Wait, no, that's not it. Gap Tooth Ridge. That's really far, man. It's like way over here. Oh, I'm gonna have to go there anyways. Well, it's good to know. I'll just do... I guess I'll do this quest, and at the end I'll get the horse. Hey, Warren, what's up? Hey, buddy, you wanna help out? Help out with what? I bet you some ammunition. I can kill all these bastards for you. Ammunition? Nah. You have fun with that. Like ominous music. Yeah. Torch out. Oh, God. Am I playing on? Uh, weirdly enough, this is on the PS5, but I'm using the stream service to play this. So it's like the PS3 version. 
Or not the graveyard. Great. Here comes the hard part. Where are they at? Where are they at? Oh, shoot. Oh gosh. Oh! Ah! Eek, he's hurting me. War horse! I was close. War, War horse! You be very careful here. Dangerous situation you're running around in. What the fucking heck is that? Look at that thing move! Eee. Who the heck is this? Died alone. I'm glad that's what they put on a tombstone. <gasps> that's what's her name? She died? I remember her that the stranger's egg with her! One. He dead. <laughs> Died alone. <laughs> Poor Alma. <laughs> I feel bad, but I mean, what can you do? Alright, Warhor, sorry about that. Put you in a precarious spot a few times there. Alright. And yeah, the streaming service is not great. <laughs> a bunch of, well not a bunch, but it's like kind of like a slight amount of input delay. You can definitely notice the bitrate going in and out. Alright, so I have, I'll do this, and then I'll last, that's exactly where that one horse is on. Whoa. Dead people down there. Easy. Come on, come on. It would be nice if I owned this game on the Xbox, or the Xbox Series X and whatnot. Come on. War Horse! Out of the way, out of the way. You out of the way too. Alright, who's the big boss for this area?
Peter Turner. <laughs> That's a guy almost looking for. I like the Easter eggs. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I like the I like the jokes they're playing on these stupid corpses. One repeater ammo. You freaks are starting to annoy me. That's unfortunate. Here we go. One mythical horse creature coming right up. Should probably save this guy. If I stay up here, I'll like lure them out here. They'll come out and get shot by the like, NPCs. Oh god. More people without heads? What is with this game and people without heads? Oh, I can't even- I just realized the town saving's not even going up because I didn't get my shotgun at him. of people came to help from somewhere. Is that a, is that a zombie? Oh, is a zombie. What the heck? What's going on here? Ah, oh, what the frick? 
<laughs> what the heck? This is saying it's an enemy. What's going on here? Why are you guys... I don't know what's going on here. This has been a uh, weird, uh, been weird so far here, Ron. Random headless people show up in the game, considers them enemies. Over here, war horse. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Let's so, go. what makes this horse of the apocalypse so good, Ron? Oh. Demon dogs. Get off me! The dogs are gonna kill me! No. Warhorse! 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 Warhorse, there you are, quickly! We need to run! We need to run! We need to run! Ooh, I'm not wasting any ammo on these dogs? Okay. Make a left up ahead, and then we should be there. My, my horse has no hooves. The game is glitching out pretty hard. <laughs> I wonder if it's being streamed. Oh. I was like, I wonder if it's because it's being streamed. I mean, there's a horse should be in this town. How do I get the horse to show up? Why are the people just here walking around randomly? Without heads. What the heck is going on in this game? Okay, yeah, well, whatever. Let me, um, let me finish this quest. Get yeah, them zombies rolling.
shoot. I mean, the money all have heads. A lot of zombies. But why is the thing not spawning? Because the game's glitched. I think it's glitched. People in this town? Yeah, there are. Let me just start smacking one of you and getting like. Oh, wow. He's going at it. They can't even hurt me. This is the weirdest. Oh, he's oh, got a gun, that's why. Dead. Um, let's try it near the town. <sighs> All right, one more time. Heads on their head. Come on. Slow down. Come. Hold on, I was like. 
Maybe this time the actual oh, horse will be there. People, oh zombies. That makes more sense. <laughs> that makes more sense, I guess. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Last. Oh, I get it. So they're basically, they're supposed to be, um, zombies, but they spawn in as people. For some reason, their heads are gone. Weird glitch, weird glitch. Okay, so for whatever reason, uh, war isn't spawning, so I'm gonna try to burn this stuff and see what happens. At least these wax zombies are spawning in now, so that's a... An upgrade. What the heck? Spitting crud now? for like two seconds. Who the heck is Jimmy saying? Explodes. Nice moves. Oh gosh. Ah, wait. John, John. Oh, he's dead. get those horses.
Oh, son of a gun, Ron. That was war. <laughs> War was in that area, that red horse I was trying to catch. But it was definitely glitched out because the main wasn't set in on fire. That was definitely war. Yeah, I think it was glitched out, which sucks. My pants are on fire. Alright, so basically it's saying just go around like Gap Tooth Ridge. Yeah, just circle around to my left. I don't know what that was. Say, just wander about until the blue circle pops up. Just wander about, okay. That's all it says is wander about. All right, wandering about continues. Oh. Some zombie out of my bonk. Yeah. That's cool looking zombie dog and red veins and crying. Oh, thank you. I got a horse to find. Maybe the other person you were looking at was also correct. It's just that... Uh... Um, Let's go. so that's pretty boring, but it's like, yeah, just wander around Gap Tooth Ridge. Oh, 
which is lame. Come on. Am I okay? Well, Ron, maybe I can go up there and get on top of this hill and do them a spawn or something. I don't know. This dang horse ain't spawning. Is there a horse that has like a guaranteed spawn? Well no, they don't roam around. They they actually you just have to run around until your map tells you hey a mythical creature has appeared. That's when they spawn. I can't even tell about am I just getting unlucky or is it just like is the game glitched out still? You can take that fall war horse. It's nice. Slip and slide. doing Alfie yeah. is this my like just rewards for not helping anyone around here I just wanted to get the horse as soon as possible It's like random luck. I guess I just I'm getting unlucky here by not finding it. Whatever. I guess I'll just uh need to say I'll I'd probably save that to my last attempt. So. My map. That's a long way to go. Yeah, I'll just stop here. 
Dank War. Ugh. Look at your teeth, Elfie. They're so nice and shiny and white and clean. And they don't smell bad. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go take a nap. <laughs> After taking Alfie out, of course. Stream off.